UMass women's lacrosse is gearing up for the 2014 season. After finishing with an 18-3 record and winning their fifth straight A-10 title, the Minute women made it to the second round of the NCAA tournament and are looking to go even further this year. It's just like a day-to-day -day thing, you know. We show up here every day, we work hard. We, um, we set goals all the time of what, where we want to get to and what we need to do each day. So it's just really going day by day and, you know, working hard every day and getting to the level we want to be at so we can get to where we ultimately want to go in the end. I think we need to focus on the little things. We work every day, come out here and focus on getting the ground balls and the draws and getting the ball on defense when the ball's on the ground. Having that experience last year and seeing how close we were to, um, you know, beating an elite team like Penn State, you know, with just a few missed plays, hopefully that carries over and we make those plays down the stretch when it counts. We have a target on our back. I really like that because I think we have to work extra hard to beat other teams and it makes us have to focus more. The strength of the team is Katie Ferris and Sam Rush on attack who combined for 117 goals last season. They're fantastic. They work really great together. Um, you know, they just know where each other's going to be and again they just stay so composed because they're getting an opponent's best defender and, and or being totally marked out and uh, denied the ball, but they're still finding ways to contribute and help help our team win games. So it says a lot about the type of players that they are. Our strength is that we're pretty balanced. We don't have one position where it's overloaded with too many good players and not in another position. Like I think every one of our positions is balanced and um, I think we're looking pretty good because of that. On defense, junior Rachel Valarelli started 14 games in goal last year and is slated to start again this season. It's Rachel this year. Um, she's been doing a great job, very consistent, making some really great saves, and again is also someone who's stepped up with her leadership and communication, which is obviously essential. I think our strength is how hard we work. You know, I think. Between the 30s is, is always something that we've really prided ourselves in, the 50-50 balls, the draw controls, because we've been really successful with that um, the past few years, and I think that that's directly translated into us obviously having the ball um, more, giving us more opportunities to score goals, so that's what's going to always be sort of the backbone for us going forward. UMass is looking forward to playing number four Northwestern, one of the only squads they lost to in 2013, and the last team to beat them at home back in 2011. I'm personally looking forward to it, and I know everyone else is, but I like that competitiveness, and you know, definitely after what happened last year, we, we want to come out here and, and do, you know, we want to win that game, and we're, we're really working towards it. You know, that's what I think about all the time, is that game, and working to, to win that game, not just to play in that game. We want to win it. We're really excited. I mean, anytime you get the opportunity to play a, a top opponent um, is a great opportunity to really push yourself, test yourself, and hopefully have some successes within the game. The Minute Women will open their season on Sunday against Vanderbilt. Here at McGurk Stadium, I'm Caitlin Boyer.